Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Do you want to know the secret to creating a meaningful travel journal cover that perfectly captures the magic of your adventures? In today's video, I'll be sharing all my tips and tricks as we dive into the art of decorating, followed by a flip through of my latest journals from Spain, Morocco, and Portugal. Ready to unlock the secrets? Let's get started. In my previous travel journal videos, I've mentioned that I usually wait until I've completed the journaling inside before I decorate the covers of my travel journals. The reason is simple. I like to let the journey and experiences shape the design. By the time I finish the journal, I have a better sense of the vibe and memories I want the cover to reflect. It's like the final touch that encapsulates the essence of the trip. There are no strict rules when it comes to decorating travel journal covers, but I like to match the design to the vibe of the place. For instance, my Japan travel journal has a kawaii vibe, while my Boracay Island journal has a tropical theme. France, Switzerland, and Central Europe, on the other hand, have a more vintage look. It's all about capturing the spirit of the journey. Now for today's session, I'll be working on the covers of these Spain, Morocco, and Portugal travel journals. I recently finished filling this up with memories, photos, and mementos, and I'm so excited to give them covers that truly represent the unique character of each place. Just to give you some background, for this 16-day trip, I used two traveler's notebook standard blank inserts. I combined Spain and Morocco in one insert and Portugal into a second insert. When it comes to decorating these covers, I'm incorporating elements that I cut out from the travel brochures. It's a great way to repurpose materials like images, maps, and alphabet cutouts, making the design not only visually appealing but also rich with memories from the trip. Let's start with the Spain and Morocco insert. I'm going to add this beautiful art illustration of a flamenco dancer to the cover. She perfectly represents the vibrant culture of Spain. Next, I'll tear this script design washi tape to frame the image at the top and bottom, adding a touch of elegance and movement. For the final touches, I'll add the words Spain and Morocco that I also cut out from a travel brochure, placing them prominently on the cover. Finally, I'll add this vintage label sticker at the lower right corner where I'll write the dates of our trip to Spain and Morocco. Which is October 19th to 29th of 2019. And 
just like that, the first cover is done. Now let's move on to the Portugal Travel Journal. Ideally, I wanted to keep everything in one journal, but since the first insert didn't have enough pages, I decided to dedicate a separate insert to Portugal. To decorate this cover, I'm starting with an image of the iconic Lisbon tram. Then I'll layer a map of Portugal over it to give it some context. Before adding the word Portugal cut out from the magazine, I'm thinking of adding a decorative accent using this European tiles washi tape. It matches the colors of the cutout perfectly and ties the whole design together. Finally, I'll place another label sticker where I'll write the dates of our time in Portugal from October 30th to October 4th of 2019. And there you have it, the covers of both travel journals are done, each one capturing the unique vibe of these incredible destinations. Decorating these covers was such a fun way to revisit my trip and let the memories guide the creative process. Now let's do a quick flip through of these travel journals. I'll give you a glimpse of the pages I filled with photos, notes, and little souvenirs I pick up along the way. If you want to see the detailed scrapbook journaling process for these pages, be sure to check out my travel journal playlist where I shared step-by-step -step videos on how I put everything together. This trip taught me that travel is about so much more than just seeing new places. It's about challenging yourself, broadening your perspectives, and creating bonds with both your travel companions and the cultures you encounter. So whether you're part of a tour group or venturing out on your own, every journey has the power to transform you. Overall, it was a learning experience that taught me the value of both structure and flexibility in travel. I'm incredibly grateful for the memories we made and the beautiful places we visited. This journey has left an indelible mark on my heart and my perspective.
I hope this video inspires you to decorate your own travel journals in a way that reflects your unique experiences and memories. The goal is not just to create a pretty cover, but to craft something that tells the story of your journey in a personal and meaningful way. 
Every detail you add, whether it's a photo, a map, or a piece of washi tape, should evoke the feelings and moments that made your trip special. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Just have fun, embrace your process, and let your creativity flow. Your journal is a reflection of your adventures and how you experience the world so make it yours. Now, I would love to know, do you prefer to decorate your travel journal covers before, during, or after your trips? And why? Share your answers in the comments below. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep journaling, cherish those memories, and happy travels. Thank you.